Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to do a little sentence writing. I really like doing these activities with you, and we've done several of them now. But the more you do them, the better you will be at writing sentences. And, you know, you've got an adult there with you, and they can make it so that it's challenging for you, yet pretty close to your level. So let's do a new one today. Now, you know you need these two pieces. You need the sheet that has the cards and the sentence on it. And what are we writing about? A little bee. He's pretty cute. The only thing we can't see are his six legs, right? You could add them if you want to. And over here, we need our writing paper. So I'm going to set that aside for a minute and focus on this. I am going to work on cutting out all of my pieces. When I'm ready, I will come back and show you. We've been doing this all year. Who cuts this out? The adult or you? You do. If you're cutting for a while and you get tired, stop, take a little break, wiggle your fingers, and then start up again because this is part of why we're doing it. We want to build up those muscles in our hands so that we are better at holding a pencil, and we are better at coloring, and we work those muscles. So boys and girls, be brave, be strong, and do your own cutting. And I'll be back when I finish mine. Okay, I'm back and I've got all my pieces cut out. They're right down here in front of me. The first thing we should do is we should read what the sentence we're going to build says. I think that's a good start for all ability levels. And parents, I would give the child a moment to look at it, choose some keywords that they probably already know, some sight words we've learned, and then also look at the picture and see if they can find the word that matches the picture before you even attempt to read it. So let's look at the sentence, boys and girls. That first word, T-H-E. Ooh, this one probably matches the picture. Now we know this word without the S. L-I-K-E is like. So if we add an S, it's likes, likes. And T-O is two. So let's read it now. The, what is this? B E. The B likes to, this is another new word. But if you use the first letter, fl, what do you think he likes to do? Fly. That's right. It doesn't look like it because of the Y. Y is a tricky letter. And sometimes it makes different sounds. And this time it's saying I. The bee likes to fly. You have a period at the end, a capital at the beginning, and spaces between the words. Now, for most children right now, I think we should tuck this aside. Once a child can say, if you say to them, what does the sentence say? The bee likes to fly. They need to be able to remember that long enough to hunt for the words. And I think all of our children can do that right now. So I would take this and put it away. The bee likes to fly. The bee likes to fly. Okay. Well, in front of you, you should have your cards. And I'm going to turn all of mine. And I have to make the sentence, the bee likes to fly. Now, if I'm looking for the first word, the, it starts with a capital. That's right. And there's only one word that starts with a capital, and that's this one. And we know the. Remember the poem? You can say the, or you can say the, but it's always spelled T-H-E. So that must be the. What was the next word going to be? The B. B E. B. There's only one that starts with B. I think they can find it. Did you pick up this one? B-E-E, -E, the B, and I'm putting a space, the B likes, likes. I think they can find it. The B likes to, t, ooh, two is a sight word. There it is, to, oh, I am missing something. Hmm, 
The bee likes to fly. Hold on, I'm going to pick up the computer. Well, that is strange. What am Oh, look what happened. I missed one. I forgot to cut it out. I'm glad I didn't throw that away. What is on this last card? That's my punctuation. That's my period. All right. So we have the bee likes to fly. Now, parents, there's a few things you can do with these cards. You can mix them up and say, okay, guys, can you build the sentence again now that we did it once? The bee likes to fly. Challenge them. Say, hmm, let's try it again. I'll time you. Mix them up. See if they can put them in order. Another thing you can do for children that are really reading is mix them up and say they're all the same words. Do you know which one this is? B likes, period, fly, oops, the, two. Once they can do that, you know that they can read the words, or at least they know the beginning letter and they've memorized the words we're working with, which is all part of it. Okay, so you've built your sentence by memory using the clues we know about sentence building, and now you're going to write it. Parents, I'm not so worried about, I want the children to try to fit it in the lines because that is a good introduction to this and it is important but I don't want to discourage them with this, okay? So you kind of have to measure it out. But what I would like them to do is to write it. The bee likes to fly. I'll just leave it. And then I want you to look at it and point out to them, wow, you did a great job of fitting that word in the lines. The E is supposed to stay under there. Point out the ones they did correctly and say, now why don't I write it for you so that you can copy it? Let them know that they did some of it right. And if they had a hard time with the words, you could just say, you know what my favorite letter is? Well, my favorite letter is the L because you started it at the top and you ended it. You were really very careful. So pointing out the parts they did correctly and then allowing them to practice it is a great idea. It's hard for them to remember that they sh of every letter should touch a line. It's tough, but it's good practice because they may not have as much time with handwriting in the upper grades. So I have put a focus on this. Um, it just is not part of the curriculum the way it used to be. So I want to make sure that they are exposed to it, and that's why I think this is important. Now you know. They can, if that's really the most they should be doing because it's first it's hit their frustration level we don't want them to fresh be frustrated we want them to love it but you could say how can we change that sentence maybe instead of the bee likes to fly the bee likes to sting St and then remind them that ing is always ing that's a word chunk ing the word the bee likes to Sting. Very good. And of course, G, we're going to make it go under the line. So there's lots of ways you can alter this lesson. Some children have been taking their card and gluing it to the back and just making a picture that would match it. The bee likes to fly. Some were writing under it um, something else, like the bee likes to fly. It lives in a hive. You can take this a lot of different ways. If your child is struggling with fine motor, have them only write the first word or the B and, you know, gauge how much you can push them because only by being pushed will they learn. But if they are pushed too far, they become discouraged. It really is a balancing act. And I'm sorry that I'm not with them to help nudge them along in this process. But I do think that as parents, you really have uh, done a great job. So I hope they enjoy this. I will be seeing them in the morning.